Hey everybody, my name is Katamon, welcome back for another video of NHL 21 franchise mode. We're gonna continue this series, boys. Uh, we, when we last left off, I guess in the last video, we went ahead and finished off the season. Uh, went into the playoffs. Unfortunately, we made it to the second round where we basically lost against the Boston Bruins in the third game, the last uh, game basically. And uh, ended up being uh, losing against the, the Stanley Cup uh, champions, I guess, because the Bruins uh, went up and uh, won the whole thing. So at least there's something good about all this is the fact that we lost to the Stanley Cup champions. So I'm OK with that. Uh, we got the president's trophy for a third time in four year, uh, four years, boys. I think by that by now, we already did everything that I wanted to accomplish. I mean, three time uh, president's trophy winner, two time Stanley Cup champion already have like everything that I could absolutely hope for now at this point it's just a matter of trying to win it again but if I can't win it you know it is what it is you know we already did what we had to uh, to do uh, accomplish with this team uh, let's just go into the draft lottery we're gonna do this do the free agency the signings all of this you already know in this video don't know if we're gonna have enough time to actually go into uh the season start simulating the season right or, or whatnot but uh we'll see i guess uh where are we do we have an actual first round yeah we do have a first round pick it's 27th overall i can probably try and move out uh to this 21st or 22nd uh let's see if we can do that let me see really quick uh the first pick and also uh, maybe a rookie skater or something we got plenty of rookie skaters that we can throw out, uh, like this top four right here. There we go, just like that. So we're move, we're, we can move up this year. We can actually legit move up, boys, which is gonna be just fine. I think uh, next up would be uh, number seventeenth. So we're gonna be in the top twenty, boys. Let's try and move up as much as possible. Maybe get a really good prospect and stuff from that. Uh, I don't care about top fours and top sixes. This is why I'm willing to just get rid of them really because i am not going to use them anyways right so flip them up for a better draft pick overall i i, pref I much prefer doing that uh 17th uh, place so now all the way up to yeah 12th 12th pick boys let's get it uh we got plenty of actual prospects now so we can actually really move up big time look at that we can move up low top four let's move up okay so we they, they are going to need a little bit more. So it is starting to get a little bit high up at there in terms of uh, of value and everything. And uh, not even that. that Even that's not enough. Okay. I see you, game. I see you. All right. So how about I give you I, I give you these two. All right. Low top six. And, oh, rejected. Really? Oh, really? It's rejected. Okay. All right. All right. So I, I won't be able to move down to 12. I can probably move down to, uh, let me see, 17, 1, 2, 3, to 14. Uh, probably can move down to 14, uh, move up to a 14 position. That's probably doable, boys. Let's try that uh, that one out. I would imagine, right, that we can still move up. We still got, like, some value here. No, really. Either they really don't want to. All right, all right. Uh, top six. What? Okay, well, it seems like we're not going to move up higher than 17th, boys. The hell? How is that possible? That's quite interesting, actually, the fact that uh, they don't want to move up. All right, so we'll just simulate. What's the first pick? Another franchise? Of course, another medium franchise player for the St. Louis Blues this time around. A sniper, 83 overall. God damn. Every single year, boys, there's a franchise player at the first place. I would just hope to have one of those one day, but uh, don't think we're going to get lucky. We got a pretty good team that gets to the playoffs every time. So we get a, a couple of uh, elites right here. I'm actually going to simulate until my actual draft pick right here. We're going to see if there's any other elites so far. The closest elite that was uh, in the 12th pick, actually. The 12th pick, I could have had uh, an elite, boys. So it's unfortunate. It is, but... You know, we can't have everything, I guess. Uh, we also, we don't have these player, players scouted. Uh, we do have this newer guy, but I don't know. Uh, let's take a look at gems. What do we have? Okay, so we got a couple of gems. Uh, a, a low elite that we know for a fact he's a low elite. Now, we're going to be able to get him very far away, so we don't need to get him right away, boys. Uh, these guys are all gems, but we know they're not elites or anything. 
uh, uh, same thing for this guy. So I kind of want to, I need to take a chance right here on a, a guy that's in the, the top uh, tier right here. So that's probably what I should do. Uh, I know for a fact this guy's a top six. I might go for one of these two guys, Hendrickson. Uh, how, is he, how is he French, but his name is Rod Hendrickson? That doesn't make any goddamn sense. That is f the furthest from a French name that I've ever seen in my life, boys. But oh well. Uh, Torsten Fast, okay. Even that's not even a, a Sweden name. I don't know, boys. That's kind of weird. Okay, so three years ETA, ETA. What about him? Three years ETA, but it uh, seems like he's pretty good. Owen Nolan. What about this guy? Scott Arnold. What about the Muir guy? The, this Muir guy. Three, three years elite. Now, I might be tempted. They're all power forwards and two-way forwards. I don't want a two-way forward. It's pretty much garbage. I'm not going to pick that up, but I can pick up one of these two. Could always pick up Vic Leopold as well. He's got some pretty good stats, but it's a C-minus C, it's C league. Yeah, I don't know, boys. Oh, this guy's good. Melvin Martin, boys. Look at his stats. He had 78 points in 64 games played, 31 goals. Uh, it's in the C. It's in the C league, but yeah, this guy's good. He might be a really good one, boys. Uh, what about this guy's a defenseman? He's a really good one as well. Okay, so I'm thinking Will or Martin, boys. These are the best option. Will is another great one. Uh, yeah, he's got a lot of points for a defenseman, but it's C league as well. Don't have anything on him though. C league. We don't know what he is. I much prefer going for an actual four than a defenseman if I don't know what I'm going for, right? So let's go for Melvin Martin. I got a good feeling about him, uh, boys. That's all that we got something. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Medium elite, power forward, right wing, 63 overall, boys. That is perfect. So our first round pick. I mean, I, I had a feeling with these stats. These are stud ass stats, boys, even for a C league. That's really fantastic. You got to go for a player like that. You got no choice. So power forward. Let's see if we missed out on anything right here. Uh, the, oh, I made a great choice. Uh, Will, the defenseman, was a medium top four, which is pretty good at 70 overall, boys. But it's not a medium elite. It's definitely not a medium elite. So we got another big time prospect uh, for the miners and stuff for us. So that's good. And Enrison was nothing good. We did the great choice, the best choice available to us, boys. We did it. All right, so now now what? Now I think it's time to choose, right? We got uh, some good gems in here. Uh, this guy can still wait for him. I'm actually going to pick him up, uh, pick this guy up right here. Uh, Cleary, he's good. we already know he's a top six, but uh, he seems like a pretty good one. Uh, so he's a gem, so we're going to pick him up. Playmaker, 61 overall. Uh, could be very good for us in the future. So we'll pick him up, boys. There we go. Just like that. Uh, 58 uh, pick. Let's find out. Now, I still... Yeah, we can still probably pick him up at the 7th round. The uh, the other gem. The uh, elite gem. So we can wait on that. There's a goalie right here that we could potentially pick up. This guy seems like a great goaltender, actually. He really seems like a good one. Uh, not so much for this guy. This guy seems like a good one, maybe, but it's a top six. We already know that, pretty much. We could take a chance on this Pune guy, boys. He seems like a good one. So uh, I'm going to take a chance on him. Another medium elite. Medium elite goaltender, 61 overall hybrid. Oh, that is fantastic. Oh, I'm picking the right ones, boys. I'm picking the right ones. All right, so that's fantastic. Uh, we got another uh, another uh, goalie, prospect goaltender right here. All right, let's take a look. What do we have here? All right, so we got some good, decent stats right here. I guess for this guy, could be good. This guy, not so much. Okay, so let's keep looking right here. Maybe there's something that we, are, that we could look into right here. Nothing too crazy. Doesn't seem like it. Uh, this guy got some good stats. Got some good 46 points. Yeah, 17 years of age. Yeah, he could be good. Uh, not, I think uh, Keeler could be better. So it's either a Keeler, for, a, for example, or a Cooper. Now, Cooper, what uh, does he have? 47 points. Uh, what is he, a sniper? Or what, what would be the other one? Keeler would be a grinder, huh? All right. So I'm going to pick up uh, a chance on this guy, Cooper. Uh, Philip Cooper. I'm not. It's not guaranteed it's going to be anything, but uh, okay, good. He's decent, boys. Low top six, 62 overall, so that's pretty good. 
pretty good in itself. All right, so now we got that. Uh, we still got that medium elite, that uh, elite player, right? He's still available. Yeah, he's still available, boys. We still have uh, plenty of time. Maybe even another in the fourth round, we're probably going to be able to get him and stuff. So uh, we got some potentials right here, some good potentials. Now, uh, this guy, yeah, I don't know. This guy doesn't seem like much. And we got this defenseman that actually does a lot of points. So it could be potentially pretty good for us. It could be, boys. I'm not exactly sure though. I could, I should probably pick up like a guaranteed uh, low top six and stuff. I kind of want to take my chances on a guy like Wilkinson. So Wilkinson seems like a good option. A good option. Low top four D man, but he's a defensive defenseman though. So we'll see. We'll see where this leads us. There we go. Edmund Larson after that. Uh, yeah, we, I think we did a good choice. I I didn't have a single bad draft pick yet uh, so far. A bad draft pick for me is a bottom six or a top nine. Well, top nine is actually pretty, uh, it's, all, it's all right. But a bottom six or something like that, that's what you don't want to get, right? A seven for a bottom six, you don't want to get that. So I think now it's time. Uh, I am going to make sure to get the player that I wanted to get. The uh, lower lead guy right here, defenseman. Defensive defenseman, we already know. But uh, yeah, there you go, 51 overall. So we got... We already drafted three uh, elite players in this draft pick, boys. So uh, already a big success, big success. We're uh, move, we're uh, grinding our prospects uh, big time. This guy's got six games played only. Uh, a plus thirteen minutes on ice. It could be, uh, it could be decent. It could be interesting. What about these other guys right here? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about this guy right here, Fosberg, uh, Subin. I don't know. Uh, yeah, it doesn't have any points. A stall, Broly stall. Seems like a decent, a decent one, but it's E League. Plays a lot in E League as well. Yeah, uh, maybe A plus. This uh, Typho guy could be a good one. Uh, I, I'm not entirely sure, boys. I want to pick up someone. I, we're going to pick up this uh, Dinks guy. I don't think he's going to be... No, he's a 7th. So this is our weakest uh, one by far that we got so far. Uh, now, I think we we should probably start and look into... Um, is there still gems available? No gems available. So we're going to start and look for the potential uh, uh, potentials, actually, right here. You never know. We might find something. Uh, what about this guy? Yeah, five years. I don't know about that. Uh, four years. Let's try and find somebody that's really close. Like, really close. Oh, there it is. Three years. We know there are top nines. But, uh, okay. So, we're going to pick up this Nemez guy. Uh, there we go. So, 63 overall. We're going to pick up some people, like, players that can actually play for us as soon as possible. That's what I'm going to do right here. At this point, I'm not really looking too much for the uh, the actual players. Okay. Top six right here. I might be tempted to go for this guy, but uh, uh, this guy right here, Dimitrev. But he's 19 years of age, so yeah, I shouldn't do that. Uh, 18, 17. You got to pick up the uh, 17 years of age. They are, are usually the ones that uh, give you good stuff. There we go. Low top four, defensive defenseman. Now he's not, he's going to take some time to grow, but uh, we should be all right. So. We got some really good prospects. Three elites, two medium elites, and a low elite, boys. So, really good. Really good draft lottery this year. Our goalie coach needs to be re signed. That's all that he wants to come back because that's a really great goaltender, uh, goalie coach, boys. So, let's me uh, try and re sign him. All right. So, I went ahead and uh, tried to re sign the coach and the. Uh, scouts that I needed to sign. They haven't signed yet, but uh, we'll find out if they want to come back uh, uh, during the simulation and whatnot. So let's take a look at our roster, see who we're going to have to re-sign, who we're going to have to uh, like get rid of and stuff. So one, two, three, and four. We already have our four centers uh, set up for next year, boys. Uh, Larkin moved up to a 93 overall. We got uh, Patrick uh, stayed up at 87. Uh, Malkin 85. He's going to start to drop though quite quick. I imagine it's probably going to be his last year. It's his last year of contract. Probably his last year of his career as well. At his act top 9, he should probably be retired. A middle stat afterwards. We've got Eklund now. Eklund does not want to re-sign with us. We've got Ronin, uh that we need to re-sign. 
Uh, top six. What is he though? Is he a good play? Yeah, he's a playmaker. Yeah, he's a really good playmaker as well. So yeah, we definitely want him back. Let's sign him for the three year. Uh, Eklund does not want to come back, so that's kind of a shame though. I do want to. Yeah, I do want him back. He's got some good. He's putting up some good stats. That's what I'm trying to say. So yeah, I think I I do want him back. Although he's a two way forward though, right? Yeah, that might be a problem actually. A two way four. I don't know if I have uh, uh, options for that. Actually, let's get rid of him. Yeah, there we go. Let's get rid of him. Two way forward might be a problem for us, so let's not pick him up. Uh, we're gonna need then uh, centers. Let's start. Uh, st let's start writing that down. We're gonna need two centers for the miners. All right, so it's written down. Uh, written down. Left wing position. What do we got? Uh, one, two, and three. So we got three left wingers. Uh, if you count Abramov, now Abramov was our depth forward for a while. So I think I'm going to keep him as a depth forward. So maybe we are missing on one. Uh, Panarin, I definitely want to re-sign him. He's a great player for us. He got the 50 goals uh, last year. Definitely want to re-sign him. Although he's preventing Lafreniere from playing on the first line all the time. I mean, he's a stud player for us. We got to re-sign him, boy. So uh, he wants a one-year deal only. I can only move up by two years. So I will give him the three-year deal, actually. And for that, I, I got to give him the exact amount of money he wants. So there it is. Just like that, buddy. Come back with us. So that would be putting us at three uh, players, right? Because Abramov's our depth. So we're going to need a left wing, uh, a left winger. An extra left winger for the players, I guess. Uh, we got a one player right here. And that's about it. Only one player is for the miners signed up. Uh, this guy does not want to come back. He's a low top six, two way forward. So I don't care if he comes back or not. You can get the head out of my team. Uh, sniper could be interesting. What about these two guys right here? Uh, Brendan Lemire, power forward, could be interesting. Let's pick him up, boys. Uh, is any 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 good? Let's pick him up at three years. We're gonna give him exact uh, amount. There we go. And uh, Altonen, do we want him back, boys? I don't know. Playmaker seems like a good one. Yeah, seems like a good player. We could potentially uh, bring him back. Let's, let's do it. Let's bring him back for three years as well. Let's give him exactly what he wants. Just like that. Uh, Oshi. Now, Oshi right here is low top 664 overall sniper. I kind of want to let these types of players grow as much as possible. I want to make sure they are in the 70s first before signing them you know what i mean boys so i i don't really want to throw them over i'm gonna let uh, get rid of uh, this guy and solovov as well get rid of him I, I could sign one of these two but i feel like they wouldn't be ready i need them to grow as much as possible uh, especially uh, these types of guys now oshi might be uh, good enough to play though he might be good enough, but he's another forward. So I'll let him grow. I'll let these two guys grow into the minors. And I actually go play, uh, go sign an, a minor player uh, for the left wing position. That's going to make our life uh, a bit easier. Right wing position now. Let's take a look. Uh, so one, two, three, and four. We already got our four players for the right wing position. That is fantastic. Kako is a now a 90 overall player, boys. That's really great for us. Uh, we got a Ronin. Okay, so we got nobody. We got only one player signed up for the miners right here. Uh, we got our medium elite player. Uh, I am going to keep him in there. I'm not going to sign him. I'm going to make sure he grows properly. Uh, Ronin. So two of them don't want to sign back. What about you? You're a power forward. And you are a playmaker. I kind of do want to re-sign you guys. Yeah, I want, I want you back, boys. I want you back. So... I am going to have to give him the money he wants. I'm going to have to give him uh, more, I guess. Yeah, may, same amount of years, but a little bit more. And Vasyanov, I do want you back. Uh, let me just make sure that uh, you are good enough, though. No, it doesn't seem good enough. I, I'm, if he doesn't want to come back, I'll, I won't re-sign him. So that's going to be two. And uh, there's a third player right here. Ronin, do we want him back? Uh, let's see really quick. Yeah, he's good enough. He's definitely good enough. So we do want to, uh, him back. Uh, we are going to give him the three-year deal, I guess. Uh, three-year deal. And he does want to be signed up for that amount. So we're going to need another minor player, I guess, for the right wing position. A lot of minors. Uh, we lost, obviously, last year a lot of uh, players to the trade, uh, the retiring system. 
So a lot of play, we lost like four players in the retirements. So uh, we got to compensate with that. One, two, three, four, f four players only, I guess. We can't count that Zaitsev has been one of those players. Did he play for us last year? Uh, I think, yeah, he was a regular roster player. So we don't have our depth uh, d d man, I guess. Was it AO? I don't, I'm not sure, but we don't have a depth de a defenseman, boys. I think it was Buffalgan. Yeah, he, re he retired. So we're going to need a depth defenseman. We're also going to need. So one, two, three, four. Uh, what about Truba? Is he good enough to for me to re-sign him? Uh, he's definitely... Well, I wouldn't say he's that good. Uh, I wouldn't say he's really that good. We're going to get rid of him for now. And we'll see if uh, there's a better option than him. So we're going to go have to go for two defensemen right here. For the uh, for the team. And uh, maybe some uh, adept defensemen as well. For the minors, we got one, two, three, four, five. And six. We got all six of our defensemen, boys. Now, there's this top four guy. Uh, low top four defensive defenseman. Is he any good? He's actually really good. He's actually really good. I do want to sign him. So we're going to get rid of this uh, Stalin guy. We're going to buy him out. And we're going to sign uh, Lau. There we go. We're going to sign you, buddy. Uh, his contract is due. So we got to sign him. Uh, goalie wise. All right. So last but not least, boys. Uh, we got Shishchuk in 87 overall. And Matt Murray, once again, we, uh, we got them for uh, a while still. So we're good on that part. Uh, Brendan Mike, we still got him. Probably last next year, he's going to be ready for the NHL boy. So we might get him as a backup for next year. Uh, Garin, we still got him as a backup. Now, these two uh, goaltenders don't care about them. So I can get rid of them indefinitely. We got our two medium goaltenders in the minors or in the CHL playing. Uh, doing their own thing, boys. So that's fantastic on their own, uh, don't, their own right. So there it is. Let's continue. I already got uh, what I need. I actually, I actually need quite a bit. So I don't feel like they offered me. I'm not interested in joining with this job title. You gotta be kidding me, Mark. The hell. All right, hold on. Uh, I'm gonna resign my uh, my scouts really quick. My coach just refused the contract. That is not good. Might have to go for a different goalie coach, boys. It is what it is. Uh, I mean, if he if he uh, refuses to come back, I, I guess, but. I do want him back. I need him back. So did everybody sign? I think Ronin uh, refused, right? Yeah, Ronin refused. He, does, he didn't want to come back for some reason. Uh, I do want to give you. All right, so I'll give you. I'll give you the one-year deal if that's what you want. I'll make sure to pay you enough so that you do accept because I need all these players right now. Right? I don't want to have to sign too many uh, players in free agency or whatnot. Let's resign you, buddy. There we go. Semenov. There we go, the long. We got a lot of scouts that we had to reassign, boys. Ah, oh, there we go. Ronings back. Okay. So now that that's done, we can go to coach. Got to try and reassign our coach right here, boys. I don't think he's going to come back, though. He wants to be an actual NA, uh, uh, an NHL coach. Doesn't want to be uh, like uh, a goalie uh, coach. So it's going to be tough to try. And we we don't have that much of a budget, right, to uh, to, to give him. So... We only have, that's the maximum I can probably give him, boys. So, I, I, I'm going to try my best right here. But you got to, you got to accept, buddy. Come on. You, you, you're playing with a stud-ass team. You're playing with the best team of the league. So, please accept. Okay, well, we're going to let it go. We're going to let him go, boys. We're going to sign a different coach or whatnot. Or maybe go back for him uh, in the free agency. I don't know. But uh, I don't have time to mess up with him right now. I really don't. All right, let's go. Uh, I'm going to check up the coaches right here. We need a replacement for the goalie coaches. All right, well, I went and looked into the coach. I went for the same guy that we already had. Gave him as much money as I... Uh, nearly the maximum amount of money I could give him uh, for the contract. So if he doesn't accept, I can't I can't go for him, boys. I just It's that simple. So centers, let's take a look really quick. we got a couple of players we already see as a potential good stuff. But um, first player we got to go for, we need... Uh, we don't need a natural center for the league. Uh, we need two minors, uh, center minors. So let's uh, try and find uh, a center for the two minor position. Uh, so that means uh, like at least a 79 overall or something like that. So we can try and find out a good uh, prospect right here. There. Uh, what about this guy? It's Vincent. Is he good enough? Seems like a uh, some sort of prospect. He seems like a really good one, actually. 
he could legit be ready for the league actually uh next year which is kind of a bad thing in itself i don't want anybody to have to play in the league or whatnot but uh we can pick him up we can pick this guy up seems like a good prospect so let's see uh let's give him a three-year deal and we're going to give him exactly what he wants so he wants three years nobody wants to go for him anyway so three years at 1.75 they're perfect there we go that's fantastic and we need another center minor two-way i'm not going to go for that uh, another playmaker right here let's uh find out is he any good nope uh not good enough for the actual uh, defensive strategy uh, this guy's a playmaker and he's really good as well kurachev all right there it is so we got our other player boys uh three years for you as well uh let's just give him exactly what he wants two years seven uh seven mil actually give him a little bit more while we're at it just make sure he he does sign with us boys all right there we go so that's going to be our two centers left wing we need one left wing for the actual team so let's take a look uh really quick it's uh between the 84s and the 87s they're all basically going to play the same the only difference here is uh how much uh what their stats look like so we got robbie fabry right here could be a good option okay so far so it's a plus three for his 90 uh his defensive awareness 90 and 93 for offensive awareness so pretty good that's a good option right here uh what about anybody else so what about this sniper right here duclair plus two so nope not a good option duclair is not a good uh, good option there teravinen teravinen not a good option what about uh vrana vrana is he any good not uh not a good option either okay so i think the only option we got is a uh, fabry so we're gonna go for robbie fabry boys we're gonna sign him he wants a seven year deal good lord all right so he wants to say uh, i'm gonna give him i can't give him the five year i can't go down boys because the uh, every single team wants to go for him so i'm i'm gonna have to give him the seven year deal i guess and go for uh 11 million i guess to make sure that he i uh, does sign with us 11 million seven year deal for a player that's 87 overall that's uh that's a big yikes a big yikes contract but you know at least we don't have the trade uh, we don't have the actual salary caps on so we're good on that part i guess it's gonna save our ass rasmussen is he any good 84 80 not good enough not good enough i'm looking for good players boys 84 81 not good enough what about this guy right here 84 uh 86 oh perfect this guy sorensen right here is perfect boys he's a sniper yep yeah. So we're gonna pick him up. He's gonna be our player, Sorensen. Uh, one year deal, or maybe I don't know. Do we want to give him a one year deal, boys, or do we want to give him? Let's just give him a one year deal for now. Yeah, one year deal. You're gonna be fine, just like that. Exactly the amount of money you want. Right wing position. We need a, a minor player. We could have went for Patrick Kane possibly, but we're gonna let the uh, let Kane go. Even though he got 50 goals, 52 goals last year, boys is we don't have space for a player like him we don't have space so we're not going to go for a player prevent him from playing the position he should be playing at so let's take a look really quick uh brett uh connelly is he an is he in interesting he is he is interesting he's a good player so we're gonna go for brett connelly right away not messing around uh one year deal seems like an interesting thing i think um we might want to go for a three-year deal make sure that he does yeah May, let's go for a uh, three-year deal right and uh make sure that we do have a uh, him sign for a couple of years uh defensive uh side though so the defense that's another part we need two defensemen now for the actual team we already know that we're gonna go for uh quentin news he's already yeah, he's way up there he's actually pretty good he's gonna be a great player for us it's great that we got uh, him as an option nobody wants to sign him that's interesting so seven years since nobody wants to sign him i'm not gonna push it though because he's a great player i'm gonna give him the six years he wants and i'm gonna just give him uh 12.35 and make sure he signs with us boys next up uh we need another defenseman now here's the thing now they're the defenseman boys uh, all the way up so the these three players are the three con uh, candidates i i'm not gonna go for a defensive defenseman so it's either truba which uh has some 
interesting stats. I'm not too sure. And Connor Timmons, uh, not too shabby. I think Truba is a better option than Timmons. So I'm just going to go back for Truba. Uh, Winnipeg wants him. So I am going to give him, I have to give him the three years, uh, the three year deal. I'll give him a 6.8, I guess. Make sure that he uh, does come for us, uh, does play for us. So 6.8, three years. Uh, there we go. And we need a depth defenseman. That's going to be about it. So just a depth defenseman uh, in the 80s, boys. Let's find out if we can find a good one right here. So what about uh, this guy, Benning? Is any any good? He's not good enough. What about you? Uh, you are really good, Matthi Matthias Ekholm, boys. We're, we're going to sign him. Uh, he's uh, three, 36 years of age. Uh, he's uh, considering his role as a depth floor, a defenseman. Might want to give uh, him just one year deal, actually. Just a one year deal. It's, it doesn't change much, all right? Okay. Well, two year deal. Yeah, it doesn't change much. I can't change it, uh, the salary then. Yeah, I'll have to give him exactly what he wants then. Two year deal. Okay, what about um, goalies? I don't, I'm not gonna go for any goalies, but there doesn't seem to be any uh, real options anyway. So we got uh, what we uh, wanted to go for. So now we just gotta simulate a little bit, simulate ahead and um, see who resigns with us. Hopefully everybody would like to pursue other opportunities for different teams. Thanks for the offer though. This guy does not want to go for us. He does literally does not want to sign with us. He's like trolling me big time, this coach boys. So he doesn't want to do have to do anything with us, which is fine by me. In that case, I'll just have to sign anybody else. So this is the guy we had. He doesn't want to sign with us. I'm going to have to sign one of these two guys. Now the problem is, okay, no, that's not any, a problem, right? Now, nobody wants to go for them. I'm actually going to try and get this king guy. Uh, Philadelphia is already after him, so he's not going to sign. Uh, Detroit's after this guy as well. It's gonna be too hard to get them though. I, I'm gonna try, but let's get let's try and get uh, get them, boys. I, I I don't think I I will be able to, but let's just try it. All right, I'm giving him the maximum amount of money, boys, possible to a million point uh, one. So you, you better accept. I mean, I just need that goalie coach. That's all I need. I want an A coach. I want the A coach, boys. We got Sorensen for the minors, Kurachev, Ekholm for depth. Uh, Connelly, Svensson, so all the minor players and whatnot, these are all the guys that uh, signed. So I don't really like the makeup, but I will do my best to deal with what I have given. Good. He did sign, boys. He wasn't too thrilled about it, but he accepted. Uh, it looks like we got everybody. We got everyone that we uh, wanted, uh, it looks like. So that is fantastic. That's really great. Uh, let's take a look really quick. Uh, any big time free agency maneuvers that... Uh, we might have missed out on ourselves. So signings, carry Mikey, Rhodes, uh, no, nobody really, Truba, Nick Suzuki going for Nashville, uh, Boxfist, there we go, Boxfist with going for Arizona, boys, good luck with that. Uh, Phillips, Cairo, Johansson, I don't see anybody else right here. Yeah, I don't see anybody else, boys, so not so far nothing uh, too shabby. We, uh, we uh, can actually start simulate until the actual season. I'm going to look at the roster. It looks like we are going to be able to simulate the season, boys. All right, we're in the preseason. Let's take a look at the roster moves real quick before I do the lineups. Middle stat actually grew by one overall, which is good. We got all these players right here. Left wingers in the minors were good. One, two, three, and four. Okay, we're good on that part as well. Uh, Panarin actually dropped to an 81 overall, a 91 overall. So he's, dr he's starting to drop. Obviously, he is 34 years of age. He's a he's now a top six, ex, uh, an exact top six, boys. So he's dropping in potential as well. We've got Line, Kako, Wallstrom, and Rackle. There we go. That's that. And defense-wise, one, two, three, four, five, six. Ekholm uh, dropped to 78, uh, 78 overall. We've got Karen, uh, Karenin, who's an 80 overall now. Uh, the problem is he's a prospect, so we would need to play him in the actual roster that we have. Uh, Zaitsev, who could play the depth forward, actually. Yep. Okay, that seems fine by me. So Ekholm's just going to re be replaced by Karenin. And uh, Karenin is going to be the one playing instead of Zaitsev. Zaitsev's going to be our our depth defenseman, boys. Seems to work for me. Shesturkin still an 87. Murray an 83. 
And like is a 78, boys. I'm telling you, next year he's gonna be uh he's gonna be ready for the league. So there it is for us. Let's just do best lines for now. I'm gonna edit those lines and uh, see you guys once it's done. All right, everyone. The lineups are done finally. Took me a while, but uh, like uh, the usual. But I gotta make sure that everything looks perfect and everything, right? So it's gonna be Lafreniere in the first line for the first time in the regular season. He's actually playing gonna play in the first line. I'm gonna play with Larkin and Liney. So that's gonna be a, fir a good first line right there. Two playmakers with a, pl a sniper. Panarin with uh, Malkin and Kako on the second line. Uh, Fabry, Patrick, and Racco. Olofsson, Middlestat, and Wallstrom at 87 overall medium elite player, boys. But playing on the fourth line, uh, he's going to play, uh, he's going to same the stats as uh, a Rackel, boys. Rackel is better. He's just a better player overall with uh, how he plays and all. So, and uh, defensive-wise, it's going to be Hughes with Klimbert, Enman with Truba, Johansson with Karanen. And, uh, of course, the depth forwards, uh, Abramov at Zaitsev and uh, Shishterkin and Murray. The miners, if you want to take a look at it really quick, that's going to be the miners for us right here, boys. Just like that. That's what it looks like. And like, of course, with Garin as a backup. All right, so let's start it up. I'm, uh, I'm ready to start the simulation up. Uh, we are going to obviously skip the preseason and, um, and see where this is going to lead us. Hopefully, we're going to have a good preseason. Uh, if we don't have one, we might do some tweaks to figure out what was uh, what wasn't working during that preseason and all. But uh, I think I got pretty much a solid team now. Obviously, it might be a weaker team. If I'm uh, being honest, it might be a weaker team than last year, just because of all the retirements. Uh, right, we lost Ovechkin, we lost uh, all these people that were really important to us, and uh, that might be a problem. I don't know. Uh, maybe uh, as with my uh, actual strategy of the good lineups and stuff, the good strategies, it does it won't matter too much. And especially since I have all the best coaches possible, right? Maybe that's not going to affect us too much. I don't know. But uh, let's take a look at the preseason. Uh, one, two, uh, three, four, five. So five and two. Perfect. All right. So that's a good preseason. That's a good start to the preseason right here. And uh, now we can hop on into the actual season itself. Uh, let's start with the simulation of ten, uh, first 10 games, 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. So all the way up to the Winnipeg Jets game. The first 10 games, boys, let's see where this is going to lead us. We start off with a win against Buffalo, 7-4. to four. That is fantastic. I'm really hoping for another great season. Uh, don't think it's going to be, like, I'm not going to be mad if we don't get, like, President's Trophy or anything. But I think we are definitely a type of team that we can get it as we start with uh, a four game winning streak so uh, we're undefeated and we're actually winning our games in shootouts and overtime which is helping us out as well these uh, this is the extra point right that we're getting so that's fantastic just getting that extra point is very important boys uh, you uh, you're gonna need that during the season so a, a, lo a loss by in a shootout so it's okay it's okay we did win in shootout pre prior uh, to that against the Devils as well. So I'm okay with that. Uh, so far, I don't need to make any changes. It looks like we're doing very, very well. There we go. We are doing very well, boys. Uh, a record of 8-1-1 one one after ten, the first 10 games of simulation. 13 points for Lafreniere, 4 goals. Uh, let's take a look quickly of how my lineups are actually playing. Uh, what looks like what, basically. So... Uh, there, there, there we go. So everything seems uh, to uh, be working just fine for this lineup. Second line's doing just fine as well. Now Kako is not producing, but maybe he might start produce a little bit more. Seems like Malkin's having a good time though. Uh, ter sec third line is not doing so good. Third line might be the one that has a bit of a problem this year. Fourth line is doing just fine. And the duo, the first duo is right here. If you take a look. Yeah, they're doing all right, I guess, right? The, the, the two pairs. The first pair is uh, is doing just fine as well. Now, once again, look at that. Uh, Mur Matt Murray, he played uh, two go games, but one game itself. He has a, he's got a shout-out. So he played one game. Uh, we can't really say too much. He got a shout-out in the first game. Shesturkin is having, once again, a bit of a tougher time. He's in there. He's at 9.06, but uh, I would much prefer it if we if he just stayed basically in the right spot, you know. 
so let's just keep the simulation going we don't need to change anything everything was going way uh, well two four six uh eight and ten so all the way up to the minnesota wild game uh, that's going to put us at 20 games here's open that we can continue a little bit of a winning streak right continue to win games and stuff like that uh without me having to worry about trying changing strategies or whatnot uh, there it is, two wins in a row. Uh, once again, we continue the winning streak, boys. That puts us at uh, six six wins in a row right here uh, against Tempo Bay. Can we win the game? Uh, we lost. Okay, so we lose again in regulation. But that's fine. I mean, after a six-game winning streak, that is just fine. That's only our second loss in regulation as well. Uh, there's a win against uh, the Panthers. We are doing very well so far. There's another loss against Pittsburgh. Uh, Boston, we win that game. So, so far, so good. We're doing very well. Uh, I'm really happy about our record, the way we're playing. Uh, now, there's a third regulation loss during the simulation. So, maybe maybe we start to uh, fall a little bit more. But we get some wins. We're getting uh, a lot of wins. So, yeah, I think I'm yeah I'm really happy about the way we're playing. So, I think that's a record of 7-3, and three, right? For the last uh, one. Yeah, 7-3. and three. Very solid. 23 points for Lafreniere. 31 points for us. We're in the race with the other uh, New York uh, players, right? We're in the race with the Islanders. And that's about it. So it's a race for New York. The New York race is on, boys, for the President's Trophy this year. Uh, now we can, after 20 games played, I think we can uh, say that we can definitely look at the, the stats and stuff. Team stats. Best offensive team. The third best defensive team. So we might have to work on that but that's fine that's just a five on five power play is just great once again and uh, penalty kill uh needs a bit of work but it's it's fine as long as we're winning games i don't see why we should change the power play or the penalty kill or anything actually power play is great but the penalty kill i don't see why we should be changing it uh, i think we're just going to keep moving we're gonna, we're going to keep simulating until uh we get something like uh, an actual bad time or anything Two, uh, four, six, eight, and ten. So all the way up to the Detroit Red Wings game. It's going to put us at the month of December right here. And uh, at the 30 games uh, played. So uh, we got to keep uh, moving. There we go. Keep winning games, boys. Uh, we we just are doing so well. I mean, I by now, I've pretty much figured out how to make my team simulate well. You know, you got to... You got to have the right lineups, the right players playing the right spot. And uh, that's all that matters in the long run. You got to put the right players playing in the right spot, no matter what their overall is. Just uh, put it in the, the good spot. And um, if e even when it doesn't work out, then you change the strategies, you tweak the strategies. And it works out, you know, you got to just look into it. Look at the, the Vegas Golden Knights, though. They're 2-21-1 after that loss against us right there. Only two lot of wins in the season. Poor them. I, I really uh, I really blame them on that. Good Lord. I pity them big time. That's what I'm trying to say. So we got a couple of more losses this time around though. So that was not uh, that much of a good simulation this time around. Uh, Cal Calgary, can we win? We do win against them. Uh, let's find out our last 10 games of simulation. Six and four. So we're starting to go up in terms of losses here. Not so much of a fan of that, but 43 wins, uh, 43 points. We're still above and beyond everybody else. We are in a race, though, for a bunch of teams. A bunch of teams are in the race with each other uh, this year, looks like. So let's, uh, let's do, uh, go into uh, lineups. Let's see what uh, we are looking at. First line seems like it's kind of strong in a bit, plus minus wise. They're giving up a, a, a quite a bit of goals right here. I do not like to see that. That's uh, one thing that is for sure. I don't want to see that. Uh, Panarin. Uh, yeah, Panarin's line is actually doing pretty good this time around. Uh, Fabry's line. Third line is doing very well. And the fourth line is doing well. So it's just the first line, which is the f line that like plays the most. So kind of a shame, really. Uh, these guys are doing very well. What about actually Quinn Hughes? I want to look a little bit more further into him. He's our new player after all, right? 18 points, 30 games played, 5 goals. Yeah, he's a really great player for us. He's a great one. What about, okay, so goalies this year. So Shishturkin, um, he's really having a tough time. He's having a really tough time, boys. 16, uh, I mean, he's winning ga in games, but 
it feels like he's trending down every time right it really does feel like it like he's not playing that good i don't know why but he's just having a tough time simulation wise it's tough to uh, to figure that one out uh, if we take a look at the strategies uh, maybe we can uh, modify something right maybe we find something that we could uh, look at so best offensive team defensive team second best defensive team uh, five on five is working uh, very well third best power play so we don't need to change that penalty kill we actually went down big time so we got the worst penalty kill so we do have to change it big time it's uh it's hurting us quite a bit so i gotta change the strategies i think it's it was on passive box it's not working we gotta change it up boys so uh it, it was actually large box so we're gonna do diamond once again let's go into diamond see if that changes anything boys uh it might it might change any uh, something i don't know let's just uh keep moving right here keep doing our thing so uh let's go two four six eight and ten so all the way up to this saint joe's a uh sharks game continue the simulation boys at 40 games we're gonna be at basically have the season done uh 10 to 1 uh, win against uh detroit we uh, wrecked them there we go so uh seems like it might be working out for now at least so we're winning games yeah we uh okay so we lost in overtime but that's fine we got the bonus points i am still obviously looking to get the president's trophy this year um especially after the start we are having the uh, first half of the season seems to be a really good one for us so I think uh, we, it's good enough to say that we might be able to get into the President's Trophy spot again. And uh, if I get it the fourth time, right, it's going to be great. Now, we do have three uh, regulation losses in a row, which uh, you never like to see that. That's for sure. I want to see some wins right there. There we go. There's a one to nothing win. We basically, haven't, uh, we're having a tough time scoring goals. There are another regulation loss, boys. A tough time scoring goals win that game against uh, detroit uh, against new jersey there we go okay so let's look uh, at our record let's look at our record boys five four and one yeah trending down we're li winning less and less games every time i simulate uh 10 games boys not good and now we're actually not the best team 40 54 points is pretty good but 57 for the leafs the leafs are the ones beating us right now we got to do better than this. Uh, let's go and take a look. How's our penalty kill right here? I know we're going to do good in the 5-on-5. Five five. I don't need to look at it. Uh, power play is still the best power play. The penalty kill, though, it is going up. It's going up. It's 71% now. So we're going to keep it like that. The problem is I need to look into maybe my players now. Maybe I got to change the lineups, actually, because uh, at the first time around, at the beginning, it uh, was starting to do well, but right now it doesn't seem like these guys are doing too well on the first line. They actually might be struggling quite a bit. So we know Lafrenia is a playmaker. Uh, Larkin, I'm not entirely sure what exactly he is. Uh, last year, he was like a two-way. Yeah, because he's scoring uh, goals, he's doing kind of both, right? So I am not sure exactly. I think, he, I think he's a two-way. I think he's actually a playmaker. Uh, Larkin's a playmaker. Now, Line is obviously a sniper. He's definitely a sniper. He scores goals, boys. You already, uh, you can already see it right here. So, with a score like this, it's hard. It's hard to figure it out, boys. Now, uh, we got two playmakers. If we put a pattern, for example, in there, maybe, right? It could be better because uh, it seems like he's got more assists than goals. But his shooting percentage is high up in there. So that means he might be a two-way. I think he's a two-way type of guy, right? So I think that's what they need in the first line. They need a two-way. Uh, Lafrenia is going to be put down in the second line as a playmaker. Playing with a sniper, obviously. Malkin is a sniper. He's, uh, he scores goals. Uh, Kako is another playmaker, though. That's the problem right here. That's two playmakers playing together, right? uh kako which is a guaranteed uh playmaker yeah so two playmakers with a sniper don't know how that's gonna work we'll try it out i guess but uh for the best option possible we need someone like panarin in there to help out line a and larkin uh fabry is he is let's see really quick he is a playmaker fabry is a playmaker uh patrick is a sniper he, uh, nolan patrick's a sniper boys 
and uh, Rackle. What is he? Is he a playmaker as well? Uh, no, he's a two-way. He's a two-way, I say. Yeah, he's a, he's a two-way. So uh, that's working well. That's a really good combination right here. And uh, what is uh, Wallstrom actually? Is he a two-way as well? No, he is a playmaker. So yeah, that, that thing's working well. It really is the second line is up against the wall, really. We don't really know for for a fact what they're all about. Uh, Shishturkin started to go up a, bi a bit again. I'm going to trust in Shishturkin. He's my main goaltender. Let's see if the main, like the one change that I did, Panarin for Lafrania switching them up, uh, them, uh, these two guys off for the first to the second line, if it help out our team for the simulation or anything. Uh, we'll see, boys. Uh, two, four, six, eight, and ten. So all the way up to Vancouver Canucks game at 50 games played. We'll see if it changes anything. I doubt it will really change too much, but you never know, right? Uh, it might do the difference. Uh, I do know for a fact that having a two-way forward is always better to uh, uh, than having two playmakers, right? You got to have someone that plays both ways with a playmaker and a sniper. Uh, it's always better for the first line at least. So you never know. And Lafreniere, I always said, he's not like he's a guy that needs to play up in there in order to produce. Otherwise, he's not like he's not gonna be that stud player uh, for us. He's just more of a of the guy behind the uh, the scenes that are gonna do. He's gonna do well during the playoffs and stuff. But otherwise, during the regular season, not so much. That's another la uh, re three game losing streak right there. Finally, a win though against Anaheim. We gotta get shit our shit together. There we go. Get some wins though. We we do have to go to overtime and shootout though for those two wins. I would like to have a regulation win, you know, it'd be great. Wallstrom got injured. We are going to have to replace him with uh, Abramov, it looks like. And let's get Abramov in there, boys. Let's see what you can do for us uh, as a replacement. I don't know for how long uh, Wallstrom's going to be injured, boys. But uh, let's hope that he can come back soon. So another uh, record for the last 10 games, not too bad and uh, not too good either. Another 5-4-1. Five, five, uh, we're winning more than we're losing, but if we continue like that, we're not going to get the President's Trophy. That's the bad thing, right? We can't. We have to get better records than that. The Lightning right here is the best team at 73 points. We got 75. It's not enough, boys. Uh, Larkin producing. Let's. Uh, we're going to keep looking right here at the, uh, the stats right here. Maybe there's something we can do. Uh, how's our uh, offense right here? Our offense is still the best. Our uh, defense, not so much. Defense went uh, down a little bit. We're actually going doing worse on defense. Power plays over is just fine. Penalty kill. I mean, we keep trending up, but not like good enough. It's just not quite good enough. So maybe, you know what? We might have to go for passive box. Because diamond seems like uh, it's working, but not quite good enough. You know, we need a, a one step further uh, than that. So let's take a look. Uh, put at that passive box right here. All right, that's pretty much uh, that. Uh, if we just look really quick at our lineups, maybe there's something we can look at. So how how are they doing? Uh, first line, we know these three guys are playing very well together. We know they complement each other each other very well. Um, Lafreniere with Kako, they, these two, this seems, this line seems to be working. This seems to be working. Fabry, these three guys play very well. Now the fourth line for some reason, I don't know, but uh, we'll see how this ends up. These uh, two guys are, do are doing just fine together. Uh, now it's two offensive de uh, defensemen playing together. That might be the problem. I don't have a choice but to play them together though. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much that so we don't have anything else right here uh, what about the Shishturkin Shishturkin's being bad boys yeah he's having a tough time I want to get Murray to play more you know I, I really do want to get Murray to play a lot more games boys that's just how it is uh, I just feel like he, he's a better player overall if we just advance the day really quick uh, that's another type of simulation as well right the uh, if you just stay in the menu right there and that's going to be a regulation loss, though. Wow. Murray just gave up five goals right there. That's not good. Not good at all, boys. I am going to simulate the la the, uh, the other two, ten games, I guess, right here. We're going to come up to the trade deadline, I guess. 
you know it's not it's not very good shesterkin's not doing good so there's two four six eight and ten so at the boston bruins game we're gonna stop it there for today uh, i really hope to have a, at least a good simulation right here there we go there's a win against toronto like get something going right here boys get something going i want to see you win games kako is injured now fuck that's not good we already had a forward injured uh, Wallstrom's back. Okay, so Wallstrom can be back. So what we can do is uh, put Wallstrom back in here. There we go. And uh, now we can put instead Abramov in here. There we go. To replace. So Abramov actually plays very well in that spot. But uh, what we are going to do is uh, just change it like that, I guess. Move these guys up. There we go. They're moving up, boys. Just like that. Let's try it out. See what we got. Uh, yeah, Wallstrom is back. I know I do know that Abramov is gonna play on the fourth line once more Let's take a look uh, Colorado. There we go. We got a win gotta just get more wins than losses, but get some good records I want to get go for that president's trophy. I know we have it in us to do it So we just got to be able to get those good simulations going boys Let's get it nine to two win uh, What about the uh, oh the Islanders? That's a main uh, competition right there. We can't be losing against them. Uh, Arizona, there's a win. There we go. Nashville, a win against Nashville. There we go. It looks like we're doing better now. Uh, Capo Caco is back. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Abramov, uh, you're going to get replaced by Caco once more. And let's get these guys back where they, uh, back where they were. Let's get them back in there. Uh, Montreal, can we win that game? We lose in overtime. All right. Well, we got a point at least. So uh, let's take a look. Uh, Boston Bruins is going to end there. There we go. 60 games played, boys. Last 10 games of record. 6 3 and 1. So it's better than it was before with the previous ones. 78 points, 80 points for the Oilers, the Jets, and the uh, Maple Leafs. 88 points for the Lightning and 85 points for the Stars. I don't think. Uh, it's still in the possible, uh, it's still the realm of possibility, boys, for us to get a president's trophy. But I don't think we're actually going to get it because there's too many good teams this year. It's too tough. It's going to be too tough to catch uh, catch up to them. Just want to look real quick, though, at the actual team stats uh, real quick. So this is going to be fine. Power play is still the best. Uh, penalty kill, uh, my main problem. We're actually trending down. Okay, so we do have to put out a diamond. It seems like diamond is the only right option for us this year. Fine. Passive and large box are not working for us. Let's uh, let's change it up then. Let's change it up. All right, it's been changed. Uh, maybe I can change the lineups as well. Uh, you never know. Panarin uh, with Larkin and Liney. How is it doing over there? Doing pretty good. Doing pretty good on their part. And uh, Liney's got uh, 31 goals. What about uh, Lafreniere? He's doing he's doing all right. Yeah, the first the second line's doing pretty good together. Uh, Malkin, I mean, at 40 years of age, he's got already 32 goals. He's our best scorer, boys. Better than Panarin uh, than uh, Line in Panarin. So that's uh, that's crazy in itself. I mean, we already know he's a, a sniper, right? So having two playmakers with him, maybe that's the way to go. Maybe you uh, you want to have two playmakers. I don't know, but. Uh, Doing pretty well. Fabry with uh, Patrick and uh, Rackhold. These guys are doing pretty well together. Olivston, Middlestat, and Wallstrom. Wallstrom's been injured like twice already, though. All right, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to I'm gonna end it right here. I'm going to look at the lines for the next uh, video, boys. Right? And uh, we're going to we're gonna see if we uh, have any trades for the trade deadline that we might want to do or anything like that. Uh, for now, it looks, seems like these lineups might be the best option right here. There's not too many tweaks I can do. Uh, we can probably find something better for the f uh, during the trade deadline, like I said. But uh, for right now, that's the best I can do with the line. So remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.